got really dressed up to read the paper this morning and I've only read in one paper as well. And <laughs> I chose the Daily Fail. So good morning. I've got, I've got, I'm low energy, man. I'm, I'm shattered. <laughs> so I'll try to be happy, but uh, Stormers Minister says don't mean one in five first time buyers. Wait for that live a husband who's boring. 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 <laughs> Angle nearly died when Dover sold. Right, Sally. Some people were offended by my Sally the comments yesterday. Sally's a slag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no apology here. Nah. I, I get it. I do get it. But she was, wasn't she? White widows. I'm glad they've been killed. This is where Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn. This, if, you've, if, you're a mem if you're either in the youth of the UK and you voted for Jeremy Corbyn, as many did, then you really need to look at things like this. Jeremy Corbyn, he won't say if he'd have ordered the attack. This is the attack that kids killed Sally Jones. Sally Jihadi Jones, one of the most famous female terrorists has ever been. She's out there fighting with ISIS. Now, what Jeremy Corbyn said after the Westminster attack, not before, after people who had mowed down on Westminster Bridge, he said that we should not prosecute Muslims for their political belief of joining ISIS. Joining or supporting ISIS, we shouldn't prosecute them. So Jeremy Corbyn, if he was in government, if we had a, if we had a Labour government, this Sally Slag should have been able to just come home. No worries. There'd have been no worry. Jeremy Corbyn doesn't seek prosecution against them. Because it's a political viewpoint. Because Islam is a political ideology. It's the same as yesterday's story. Should bad sex ever end up in court? I'd have had a lot of court cases. <laughs> this. This lady has a market stall in Loughborough and she's selling a mug that has a Crusaders logo on it. And someone's complained. Well, I wonder who could have complained. If you're just hearing this, you probably think the, the, the Crusader mug must have said something really offensive. It said in Latin writing, the Crusader logo, it was six pounds. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Banned. Banned from the market for that. That's what's happening. You can go to any Islamic bookshop anywhere and buy books inciting hatred against all of us. But you have a mug that says anything with a Crusader logo. Apparently the argument is that the Crusader logo is offensive to Muslims. The Cross of St George is offensive to Muslims. Jesus, showing your face is offensive to some Muslims. Food, bacon's offensive to Muslims. What's not offensive to Muslims? If we're going to ban everything and get rid of everything that's offensive to Muslims, there'll be nothing left. God's sake. Just mental, innit? What was it about Sabrina? What was it about Sabrina that made her such a big star? Oh, I don't know. What could it have been about Sabrina? that made her such a big star. Taliban captives who had three babies in jail freed. A couple held hostage by Taliban terrorists for five years were freed yesterday. I missed this. Along with their three children they had whilst in captivity. This is the Americans. Can that, no, Canadian journalists and American were kidnapped while backpacking in Afghanistan. They were rescued after a US tip-off during an operation near the Afghan border. The US intelligence agency had been tracking the family and soldiers intercepted them as they were being transported from their prison across the border into Pakistan. Oh, they were taking them into Pakistan. This is the every time Pakistan, yeah, our so-called ally. Bin Laden chilling, ne chilling out next to the army base in Pakistan his whole life, watching porn. But anyway, this family were being transported into Pakistan when the, when the American military, Donald Trump said it was a positive moment. For, oh, because the Pakistanis... Pakistani government's cooperation is a sign that is honouring. Yeah, because Trump basically was just about to turn about Pakistan, who he was. He called them out about their aid, said you won't be getting all of our aid money because you're harbouring, creating and breeding terrorists, generation after generation. Anyway, I've got a long speech to give, I've got to prepare for it. That's why I'm dressed in my suit. A couple of days ago I was due to talk at Columbia University, one of the most prestigious universities in the world but the far left bullying anti-free speech tactics stopped it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a speech, I'm gonna completely address everybody, just like I was talking to those little, little triggered social justice warriors 
And that's what I'm going to do. So, peace. I have a show coming soon. It's going to be called The Tommy Robinson Show. Thanks to you at home who have supported it. If you want to lend more support, go to TommyRobinson.com and give like. <laughs> give everyone a like and subscribe, all right? Peace.